Tonight, Tesla's new all-wheel drive car with autopilot, Apple to remove Bose products from their stores, and thousands of nude Snapchat photos are hacked. Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, episode 191 for Friday, October 10th, 2014. This episode of Tech News Tonight is brought to you by NatureBox. NatureBox ships great tasting, wholesome snacks right to your door. Forget the vending machine and start snacking smarter with wholesome, delicious treats like mango almond bites. To get your free NatureBox sampler box, go to naturebox.com slash twit. That's naturebox.com slash twit. Hello, everyone. I'm Jason Howell. Let's get right to the tech feed. First up, last night, Tesla CEO Elon Musk unveiled an all-wheel drive version of the Tesla Model 2 called the D for dual. This one has two electric motors and it can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. The top of the line, $120,000 P85D ships to buyers in December. The 60D and lower end 85D Go out in February. Musk told the crowd, quote, this car is nuts. It's like taking off from a carrier deck. It's bananas. It's like having your own personal roller coaster that you can use at any time. Sounds like a lot of fun. The car also features an autopilot mode, which not quite self-driving. It does give the D lane control, active emergency braking, and self-parking, including automatic parallel parking. Now, back in February, Time Warner Cable agreed to merge with Comcast, already the number one cable company in the United States. And earlier this week, a vote on the merger was conducted by Comcast shareholders that ultimately showed 99% in favor of the merger. Well, today, a vote conducted by Time Warner was held and, again, resulted in 99% approval of the merger. According to both Comcast and Time Warner, the deal should conclude by the beginning of 2015. That is, of course, if the U.S. Federal Communications Commissions and the Justice Department can be convinced that the combined company wouldn't be anti-competitive. Comcast, for its part, has said that the merger would enable the company to invest more resources into its network, that's thanks to its larger scale of operations, with state regulators investigating the effects of a possible merging of the companies and the New York Public Service Commission set to vote on November 13th. It's far from being a done deal, but definitely one big step closer. Now, court filings related to the sudden Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing by GT Advance last Monday have been made public today. The filing paints a clearer picture as to why GT Advance hopes to back out of its arrangement with Apple to produce artificial sapphire for the company. It claimed that some of the contracts written up between the two companies was, quote, oppressive and burdensome, unquote, and ultimately uns unsustainable if GT Advance was to stay afloat. As a result, the Sapphire Maker says it will close its plants in Salem and Mesa, Massachusetts, and cut a total of 890 jobs. That's out of a total of 1,100 full-time employees. In the filing, GT Advance stated, quote, only if GTAT winds down these operations will it be able to stop its mounting losses and refocus its resources on the operation of its core business, of selling sapphire furnaces and other products, end quote. Now, when news of the bankruptcy filing hit earlier this week, the company's market value was obliterated, resulting in a near instantaneous loss of around $1.5 billion after soaring high when it was announced that the company had signed a $578 million sapphire deal with Apple less than one year ago. Bose Corp and Apple Inc.'s Beats Electronics settled a patent dispute over noise-canceling headphones, according to the Wall Street Journal. Both companies said they've settled their claims and now have asked the U.S. International Trade Commission to stop its investigation. In July, Bose tried to block imports of several Beats headphones over claims the company used its noise-canceling technology without paying. Last May, Apple made arrangement to pay $3 billion to buy the headphones and streaming music service, the largest acquisition for Apple ever. And somewhat related, Apple will begin removing Bose products from Apple stores. This is based on an article on MacRumors.com citing reliable sources. This could start happening as soon as next week. And if true, chances are Beats products will end up taking the same shelf space. Now, coming up, the fan remake of The Empire Strikes Back is out, and we'll show you some of our favorite scenes. And next, I'll chat with Ruth Reeder from VentureBeat about the over 100,000 nude Snapchat photos that were hacked. But first, 
This episode is brought to you by NatureBox. Now, right now, NatureBox is giving you a chance to get a free trial box of their most popular snacks. So, you can drop the candy bar, drop the potato chips. They're not good for you. You already knew that. Do what I do. You can get delicious, wholesome snacks at naturebox.com. NatureBox has hundreds of delicious snacks, and you know I don't feel guilty about eating them. That's because they're better for me. They've got zero artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners, zero grams of trans fat, uh, no high fructose corn syrup. You'll even find snacks with no added sugar and without gluten. So in the afternoon when you're hungry, do what I do. Grab chili lime pistachios from Nature Box or agave citrus granola or sourdough cheddar pretzels. I'd love to be the one that names these uh, snacks here. They're all so good and so much better for you than any other snack options out there. So you can start your free trial today and get a free sampler box at naturebox.com slash twit. Stay full, stay strong, start snacking smarter. Just go to naturebox.com slash twit. And we thank Naturebox for their continued support of Tech News Tonight. All right, joining me now is Ruth Reader, writer at VentureBeat. How's it going, Ruth? Doing pretty well. How are you doing this Friday? Doing awesome. It'll be better when it's like Friday end of day when I can <laughs> kick back and relax, but uh, doing great so far. Thank you for joining us on the show today. Um, no you wrote an article, Snapchat blames users of illegal third-party apps for nude photo hacks. So uh, let's talk a little bit about this because it definitely has a, you know, has, is setting off alarms right now. How exactly did this happen, first of all? Well, basically what happened is that Snapchat wasn't directly hacked. What happened was that users who were using Snapchat and also a third-party app for saving snaps, uh, those people got hacked. Uh. And so those third-party sites probably weren't secure. They've been deemed illegal by Snapchat um, and actually have since been removed. And those servers are the ones uh, that have been compromised. I gotcha. Do we have any any sort of estimation as far as how many how many picks are kind of floating out there in the wild as a result of the uh, the hack? The biggest number I saw was two hundred thousand, and that was from a blogger named Kenny Withers, and he is he actually documented the whole thing, which is how a lot of people found out about it. Okay. Um, now, so so basically, what you're saying is not everyone that's using Snapchat is at risk of this. You have to be using some of these other apps or websites. What are a few of those apps and websites and uh, how exactly how exactly can people kind of avoid this uh, happening to them? Well, okay, so the two ones that were named was uh, Snap Save and Snap Saved with a D, not, not a whole <laughs> lot of differentiation right. between the two. One saves snaps on your mobile device and the other one saves snaps for the web. Um, and Basically, the way that you can avoid having this happen to you is don't use unofficial apps. Mm -hmm. Don't use apps you aren't familiar with. Don't use unverified apps. Um, basically, apps that you know don't have a clear set of security measures or that you're not previously familiar with. That's like one of the best things that you can probably do. Sure. And this wasn't the first security-related issue for Snapchat, but... Um it sounds like, I mean, they're not taking the blame on this one. Um, but I don't know. Do you think Snapchat as a whole, as a service, is a target in this way? And can, are, do you expect that we're going to see anything more like this? Well, two things I'll say. For one, uh, Snapchat has had problems in the past. Let's be real about it. But they've done a lot uh, to change that. They encrypted their messages. Um and they've tried to pull third-party apps like this off of Google Play and the App Store. So they are trying to do their part. Um, do I think that we'll see more hacks like this? Yes, wherever there are nude photos or personal information, there will forever be hacks. Um, and I think that this sort of, to prevent these kinds of hacks, it really needs to be a joint initiative by both users and companies like Snapchat and other, you know, social media companies and companies that host personal information. Sure. Uh, awesome. Well, really appreciate you writing about it, first of all, of course, Ruth, and then also coming on the show to kind of talk about everything that you know. Ruth Reader with VentureBeat. Um, where can people follow your work online? On VentureBeat mostly. Or you can follow me on Twitter. At Ruth Reader. At Ruth Reader. Right on. All right. Thank you, Ruth. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Alrighty. And finally, what's better than the original Empire Strikes Back? 
How about one created entirely by fans? I mean, come on, you got to hand it to the people at Lucasfilm for releasing this version of The Empire Strikes Back uncut. It's full of homemade scenes and animations, pop culture references, and just odd mashups. Uh, it's hard to stop watching, actually. I was watching it before before the show and it still had to write some things. I ended up getting pulled into uh, to the to the movie. It's really great. Uh, you have to have over two hours to spare, of course. You, too, can head on over to StarWarsUncut.com for yourself if you want to check it out. And, of course, while you're there, the Star Wars Uncut original uh, can be found on that site as well. Both uh, pretty awesome views, at least one time through. That's it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. You can subscribe to this show at twit.tv slash TN2. And, of course, write us at TN2 at twit.tv. Don't miss our morning news program, Tech News Today. That's every weekday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm Jason Howell. Thank you for watching. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by Cashfly.com.